Butter meets chicken meets chili. Coming right up on the weekend at the cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Manoilovich. Today we're shooting in the city, sending you something fabulous for you, your friends, and family to enjoy. We want you to think of this as butter chicken meets chili. That's exactly what you're going to do and you'll be amazed by the results. Before I begin, a huge shout out for our beloved tasty friends at Fairmont Jasper Park Lodge. They presented this recipe to Carol and I. We were there last fall uh, for an event and they served this to us and we were both like, oh, we have got to put this on Weekend at the Cottage because you are going to enjoy it. It really is fabulous. In fact, it's a game changer, game changer, uh, because we think you should be serving this on game night. People gathering in your home, serve up this incredible butter chicken chili. Everyone will love it. Enough said, let's get on with the recipe. There are five key steps to the recipe. I'll walk through each one for you. But of course, you can always reference the full recipe, stories, photographs, and video at weekendatthecottage.com. When you're there, please remember to subscribe. On to the preparation then. We're starting with step number one. We have two pounds of ground chicken, large skillet, medium high heat. As soon as the pan comes to temperature, add your chicken, and then we're gonna cook it off. Now, chicken doesn't really kind of operate the way beef or pork does, so I like to take a couple of wooden spoons and just kind of mash it up in the pan. This makes sure the chicken breaks down nicely for this recipe. Final step, once your chicken is cooked, onto a paper towel lined uh, dish. We transfer the chicken, all of that grease is gonna go away. I especially like that we remove all of the chicken fat. Step number two is all about essential vegetables we're adding to this recipe. One large white onion, finely chopped. We also have some garlic and ginger, really finely chopped. The complement for the garlic and ginger, about a third of a cup each. Um, we start then at stove top, medium to medium high heat, large pot. We're going to add about a half a cup of canola oil and then our onions. Stir them in, cover them. You can kind of watch them. You don't want them to brown. You want to get the kind of light and soften. At that five minute mark, we take off our lid, add the garlic, ginger, stir them in, cook for another five minutes. They're going to get nice and soft as well. And now you're going to need a key ingredient for this recipe. Number three, you need a beautiful bottle of tomato, pureed tomato. This came to us from our friends Angela and Mike Calamita in Windsor, Ontario. We add the tomatoes into the pot, stir everything together, reduce down to low, cover, and we're going to cook for 45 minutes. I really want the ginger, onion, and garlic to flavor the tomato. 45 minute mark, we're taking the lid off and now that fourth step is all about the spices. A couple of things to comment on. The first is a chana masala. You could use gutta masala for this recipe. I like the chana application. Two tablespoons of chana masala in the bowl. We also have another traditional Indian spice mix. This is chat masala and uh, it's a chunky chat. We like two tablespoons of this into the bowl as well. And then you're gonna need one and a half teaspoons of ground coriander, cardamom, cumin, turmeric, and then chili powder. There's one additional spice I want you to keep your eyes peeled for. How about some kasuri methi? This is fenugreek leaves. We're not gonna add this to the spice mix right now. This comes in at the end in step five. But for step four, we have the spice mix blended. We're gonna add it into the tomato sauce, stir it in, allow it to cook for a little bit, and then we take a hand wand and we're gonna blend, zip these ingredients till they're finely pureed. Now step five, let's bring this recipe home. What would butter chicken be without butter? How about four tablespoons of butter plus one cup of heavy 35% cream. Add those ingredients in, let the butter melt. Look at how it changes the color of this beautiful sauce. We're gonna return our cooked chicken to the pot and now done for the kasuri methi. We're gonna add our two tablespoons of fenugreek leaves, stir everything together. Uh, I like to give it maybe about five or 10 minutes to cook on low to bring the flavors to their peak and then we're ready to serve. How do I like to serve this? Into small bowls, a helping of basmati rice, generous helping of our butter chicken chili, and then on top, a raita. If you click up here, you'll have a quick link to our City Slicker video for raita. Add the raita on top, then some chopped cilantro, and you're ready to serve. You can serve it like this in the bowl, ready to go. I like to serve it with a little side of naan bread you can dip and enjoy. 
Of course, it looks pretty, but how about that flavor, Nick? Well, I'm happy to oblige and show you. It is such a beautiful color, fragrant. You know what? I told you. Best of both worlds. Chili, butter chicken, butter chicken, chili comes together like nothing you've ever tried. I hope you try this recipe. Head to Weekend at the Cottage for full recipe details. Don't forget to look for us on our favorite social media feeds, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. A final shout out to our friends at Jasper Park Lodge for sharing this beautiful recipe with all of us I know you're going to enjoy. Talk about sharing? Why don't you share this video with everyone you know I know everyone's gonna wanna make butter chicken chili because you just can't stop eating it. It's that delicious. Mm, wait until you try.